Now, if you're after a gimmick that is even easy to build than a Vegemite Sanger, it takes just over two minutes to build, a performance that is even easier to perform, and insane visuals, I have the perfect stump for you this week. Roll that intro, baby! G'day elites, welcome back to Stumped. My name is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what fooled me this week. Now, first things first, Stumped is a little bit different this week where we are, instead of just watching the trailer together, I've just watched the trailer, it fooled me. Uh, and then I think I have some ideas about how the method works. And then I'm going to go downstairs and watch the tutorial. You're gonna watch my reactions on how I, what, what I see and feel and hear from this tutorial. And then you're gonna follow along with me on the gimmick build or the, the performance uh, and watch as how long it takes me to get this down. And then we're gonna come back up and discuss everything. Now, first things first, I do need to say, please don't put any methods down in the comments below, uh, whether you wanna be proving that you're right or having the wrong guesses. I don't wanna lead anyone down any wrong garden paths. And that's not the pace for this. So yeah, please don't comment any methods down below. All right, so the effect that stumped me this week was Kenneth Costa's Deja Vu. You take a, a card, a spectator's chosen card and tear the end off it. You can either eat it, throw it away, whatever you wanna do with that end. Uh, and then magically reheal the card. Now, the thing that stumped me is the flick at the end or the tap on the card at the end to show that it's a full solid card. Oh, that was a tasty image. Now I need to go learn how this is done. So let's go down and watch the tutorial and then come right on back when I finish building the gimmick. All right, so we're downstairs. Let's start this tutorial and see what I thought the gimmick was or see how hard it is to make. Let's do it. Yeah, not, yeah. Kind of what I was thinking, but uh, a different way to do it, and that's this is cleverer. Cleverer? It's it's this is more smart. Smarter. -er. Very clever. Okay. So I see how this works. Uh huh. Let's build a baby. All right. What do we need? What do we need? So the things you're gonna need for this are things that every magician should have in their. Uh, magician's toolbox to like fix gimmicks, build gimmicks, that type of stuff. Very, 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 very basic stuff. So very easy. Smart. I like that there's no cuts or like edits in this. Like it's as you're building it along with him, you're following along. There's, he's building it in real time as well. There's, it's not just jumping between cuts and you're like, hang on, I have to pause and come back to it. You're following along and knowing exactly where you are. The beats are good. All right, so first things first, the tutorial, it goes for about 15 and a half minutes, which is quite a decent length for you to learn how to build a gimmick. So, which is good. You don't want to go in for three minutes or 30 seconds and go and hang on, what did I missed? Uh, there are some parts where he will build it. Um, I don't think this is going to take this long to build, but we're going to jump into the build in just a second to see how long it takes to build. But obviously because he's doing a tutorial, he kind of goes over things like three or four times just so you know what you're doing and where you're cutting and that kind of stuff uh, is accurate. So it so, uh, seems easy enough, which is great. So I think this is going to be very, very easy to, for people to build at home. V very easy. Look, if you can cut stuff out, you can build this. Hey, this is good. So a lot of magicians uh, sometimes skip this step in building gimmicks. Uh, and I'm glad Kenneth is teaching this because you need to, this is a step that Magicians skip and you shouldn't, you shouldn't because uh, people can notice it. So I'm glad that Kenneth is teaching this. The visuals are so nice. The visual is nice. Super simple. All right, so that was the end of the tutorial. So let's jump into the build and see exactly how long this takes to build. Let's go. Oh, I almost took my uh, headphones with me. Take them off. All right, so I've just finished building the gimmick. I had a little play with the gimmick afterwards just to make sure it looked okay. Uh, and it took me just over two minutes to build the gimmick. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to think of is when you're building this, the gimmick is a one-time use thing. So, is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so because in uh, Kenneth's performances, he shows like a torn card. So I'd even, even in a performance style, I'd go through my deck uh, and 
as I'm spreading out and showing a spectator uh, this, I, I'd come across a torn card and go, what's happened here? Someone's destroyed my card. Hang on, reheal it, and then immediately go into performance. Like you've fixed the deck. It's a cool little opener if you don't want to build the gimmick again. But it took two minutes to build, just over two minutes to build. See, in what? In 10 minutes, you could build five of these gimmicks and be good to go all night. So it doesn't take long to build. So I don't think that's a downside at all. Oh, it is delicious. Now the gimmick did stump me because I had an idea and it's along the same lines, but this is super simple to build. And even, uh, like I said, a lot more clever in the gimmick building itself. Uh, so anyone can do it. And there's some little things added to the gimmick that just sell that solidness of the card that I wouldn't have thought of. Now I can't go into methods with you too much because it obviously needs to be kept secret, but it is really, really clever and super, super simple. I can't say that enough. It is really simple to build. Now, plus this visual restore of the card absolutely sells this for me. I love that visual and I would be more than happy to sit down and make a couple of these gimmicks or like I said, have that performance of a torn card inside my deck. I think that's gonna be a really cool idea that I can't wait to test out. Now, if you are interested in Deja Vu by Kenneth Costa, it is available for $10. A link in the description below where you can pick that up right now. So make sure you definitely check it out. Now that's all we have time for for Stumped this week. Thanks so much for joining me. If you really enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to have a look at next that I, I kind of want to dive into and watch the process along with me. It doesn't have to be a gimmick build. It could be a sleight of hand routine or it could be a pre-made gimmick that you get and you have to practice with uh, and then follow along. Let me know if you like this kind of format as well as I actually really enjoyed uh, taking along the journey with me instead of just watching the trailer and then telling you at the end. So let me know if you like this version of Stumped. Now, that being said, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next Saturday for a Saturday Sorceries where I teach you another awesome effect. Have a great week, champion. Bye for now.